Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how bag of word works. So bag of words, as you all know, it's a kind of algorithm which will convert words to numerical format so that we can feed those numbers into our ML and DL algorithms, right? So in the end, we need numbers to work with our ML and DL algorithms. So bag of words is just one of the algorithms to deal with that. So to explain how this bag of words work, Let's consider two sentences, sentence one and sentence two. So sentence one states, weather is great to play cricket today. Should we play? Sentence two, let us play cricket today. Okay, so these are the two sentences. So in bag of words, the first step is to create a vocabulary, right? And how do we create the vocabulary? We just gather all the words from our corpus, the number of documents or the number of sentences or number of paras that we have. So, in our case, we have two sentences and I have gathered the words occurring in both the sentences together. And remember, vocabulary, there will be no repetitions. Right? No repetitions. So, I have noted down the words as they occur only once. I have excluded the repetitions. Okay? So, once we create the vocabulary, we will sort the vocabulary in alphabetical order. Right? So, if I sort it, it looks like cricket, great, is, let, play, should, to, today, us, be, weather. So this is how it looks like after sorting the vocabulary. This is the sec second step. So the third step is to create a frequency table. Frequency table. So how do we create the frequency table? We note down the vocab in alphabetical order as features as columns and sentence 1, sentence 2 will be our records, right? So now we will go through sentence 1 and sentence 2 separately and check if each of this word is occurring in that sentence or no, right? So cricket, is cricket occurring in sentence 1? Yes. And how many times it's occurring? It's occurring once. So I'll have one here, okay? Then there's a word great, is great occurring in sentence 1? Yes, and it's occurring once. So I'll have one here. Okay. Is, yes, it's occurring once. So I'll have one here. So let, no, there is no let. So it will be zero. Play one, two times. Play occurs two times in sentence one, right? So I'll have two here. And should, it occurs once. So I'll have one here. Two. So it occurs once. Two. Today, yes, we have it once. Us. There is no us, so it will be zero. V, no, yes, there is one V, it will be one. Weather, it's weather, so it's occurring only once, so I'll have one here. So similarly, we'll do the same thing for sentence two. There is no, so let us, so let will be one, us will be one, it's occurring only once, right? Play cricket today, all three are occurring only once. Play cricket today, so rest all are zero, right? These words are not appearing in our sentence too. So once we construct this, that's it. So this is the end of bag of words algorithm. So this is how the bag of word looks like based on the corpus that we have. In our corpus, we have just two sentences and this is our vocabulary. If you notice, there are some disadvantages in here, right? So what are those disadvantages? So there is no context. No context is retrieved or understood, right? We are just creating a frequency table. And all words are given equal importance, right? Given equal importance, correct? Then, third one. Since all words are given equal importance, we are not sure how they are related to each other. So, there is no semantic information. No semantic information. So, these are some of the disadvantages with respect to bag of words, right? So, just remember this. So, there is an increment over bag of words called as TFIDF and there is another increment on top of TFIDF called as word embeddings. So, we will see each one of this in my upcoming videos. So, stay tuned for further updates. Now that we have learned how bag of word works, let us see how to implement it in Python. Okay. 
So let me just close everything out. Let me clear the variables. Okay. So clear. So I am I am using spider here, uh, uh, which will help you to see how the vocabulary is created because it gives the beautiful variable explorer option. So we can see it in a clear and concise way, right? So I'll start from the beginning. So I have sentences as a list here and it has two sentences in it as we have seen in my board here so we have two sentences weather is great to play cricket today should we play and let us play cricket today so these are the two sentences in my sentences list right now in order to work out with bag of words in python we have to import a library and more importantly count vectorizer class so how do we do that it is available in sklearn so from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text we are extracting the features from text import count vectorizer okay now we have to initialize an object of class count vectorizer so how do we do that we have to create a variable for the count vectorizer vectorizer is equal to count vectorizer right so this will have the object created initiated init method it will call the init method right so once we have this we are ready to work with bag of words so in order to save this frequency table or the features that will be created out of bag of words i will create a variable and store it in x x is equal to vectorizer dot fit transform is the method which we need to use and the parameter will be sentences so it will take iterable right so you see here raw documents iterable so these are the two raw documents and together we call it as an iterable because list is of type because list is one of the iterable right so once we execute this and in order to show you in the variables in a clear way let me store it in a numpy array so i'll just say two array and if i execute everything so you see the variables created here so the first thing the sentences so sentences we have it's a list right so it's a list with two elements zero and one index type string it also gives you the size information so string one string two sentence one sentence two so this is one variable next vectorizer this is another object but this is of type class count vectorizer you will not see any specific info with this okay so it will have all the methods available in this particular object now our our variable of interest is x here right so this is our frequency table this is how it gets created this is same as we have worked out in our board here right so what it does it gives index to each of the words so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there are 11 words in vocabulary total ranging from 0 to 10 with the index numbers right so in order to verify the working if you go to the variable explorer and open this variable at the fourth index the count is 2 right so why it is 2 because the fourth index we have the word play and it is occurring twice in sentence 1 and once in sentence 2 that's why we have 2 here and 1 here and you can see the same thing in variable explorer here 2 and 1 right now in order to see the vocabulary there is another method associated with vectorizer and you can see it as let me store it in vocab variable vectorizer dot get feature names out okay so now if i execute it i'll have another variable created called as vocab and this is how it is created so you see the punctuations are removed comma is removed question mark is removed and all the words are converted into lowercase by default there are no uppercase and lowercase mixes everything will be by default converted to lowercase okay so you see there are total 11 words index starting from 0 to 10 so this is what we constructed right in while creating the vocabulary and arranging it in a alphabetical order right so this is what we created first first word is cricket last word is weather 
so you can see the same thing here right so now this will be this frequency table this will be used as input features to our ml and dl algorithms and we can train our algorithms for our desired output all right so this is how bag of world works and that's it for this video if you have any questions please post it in comment sections i will be more than happy to help you guys if you guys have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon because i will be coming up with lots of lots of informational videos with respect to nlp going forward so please do not miss it out okay so happy learning bye bye